Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome, Merry hoes. Christmas. <laughs> Welcome, ho. <laughs> From one ho to another. <laughs> ho, Merry ho. Christmas. Happy holidays, actually. Yeah, happy that. Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever the fuck you celebrate because. Happy end of 2020. Happy end of 2020. <laughs> I didn't um, mind it. It was a cool. It was fun. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This was a good year for me. <laughs> you know what? I think it was great. My best yet. <laughs> Keep it coming. Again. <laughs> I'll order another, please. <laughs> yes, I'll, we'll tell her what she's having. This reminds me. This is off topic. It reminds me of the what I posted last night on my Instagram story that TikTok of. <laughs> there's Which a guy. One? It's just a video of a guy that passed out on one of those big swing rides where oh they can have gosh. you high up and it's fast. Yes. And it's just, it's, I forget what song is playing, but the caption is like me not giving a fuck what 2020. Oh, I did see that. I did see is that. where 2020 is taking me. That's, That's how I feel. It's like, whatever. I, you know what I feel like is going to happen? Have you seen that meme going around where it's like everybody's waiting for the ball to drop on New Year's Eve of 2020? Like, thank God it's over. It's over. And the clock. So it's like eleven fifty nine, and they're all there waiting for it to switch, and then it and then it just goes eleven sixty, and it never changes over to like midnight. So it never. It I never mean, that would just it would it would confirm that we are in a, a, a dimension warp. of hell for sure. I think the aliens are next. Like if like, you know, you know, if Nevada and they never stop counting and they never <laughs> stop with the oh my god broad hearings and lawsuits and i don't think that we just never stop. get another president we're just and here the, forever but we've got okay, new fires and stuff. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right you're right this is a great episode we're very happy we're very jolly <laughs> we're, we're gonna make this quick because we just really really want to shout out black owned businesses this holiday season um i yeah, know it's really businesses. easy and Small businesses, I know it's really uh, easy to want to, um, uh, I'm like skipping, I don't know why I'm in my ear. Um, <laughs> jump on um, Amazon or something. Jump on Amazon and buy, you know, from big corporations like Walmart and, and Amazon, like we said, but we really, really just want to focus on um, specifically Black-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses, because <laughs> it's just really fucking overdue. And that's the only way to redistribute wealth and power that has gone askew and has yeah. since the day we were discovered. Had <laughs> discovered. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's start. <laughs> um, Alyssa, Alyssa and I each chose a couple of our favorites. Um, and yeah. for that will be recommend like great gift giving, great places to go to do your Christmas shopping. So do you want to start us off? Yeah, so I found this really amazing site. It's called um, the Indulgence Spa, and it's an Etsy shop primarily. So you can go on there. Oh, cool. We'll be linking all of these um, wonderful businesses in our show notes, and um, I'm sure probably like on our Instagram, we'll be yeah. promoting it through the week, so mm -hmm. you'll have better um, insight. So check that out. But it's an Etsy store, Indulgence Spa, and uh, they've she has really cool products. It's her name is Stephanie Willoughby. And um, she has many products ranging from items for your shower and bath to natural hair care products. And mm. there's just, like one product that has like amazing reviews. And I really want to get it for myself. I think I have it in my cart, I'm, like waiting on like buying a bunch of things. Um, but it's called a pumpkin cupcake shower icing. And she has other what? like, it's not, not flavors, but scents, scents yeah. um, for different ones. But basically it's just like this cream. It's like very moisturizing that you just put in the shower Ooh. that you use in the shower. And it's supposed oh. to be just like fun and sexy and just like. You, you smell like pumpkins though? Exactly. Oh yeah, there's like a, a pecan waffle I'm seeing. There's a vanilla Ooh. marshmallow, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's like, oh, I want that so bad. Um, another store that I love, love, love is called Jungalo. And you might have heard of it before. Um, the website is jungalo.com, but it's 
it's the story is created by a woman named Justina Blakeney, and she's an American designer and author known for her boho aesthetics. And her mm-hmm. first book, The New Bohemians, Cool and Collected Homes, was a New York Times bestseller. She's based in Berkeley, California, and she started this this really unique um, home goods store called Jungalo. And there's just like amazing stuff. There, specifically, there's this, um, and if you're watching on YouTube, we'll be showing like the products that we're, we're uh, promoting. But there's this really cool um, book. What do you call that? Um, bookends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bookends um, of these women's faces. And they're just yeah, so unique. And they look like planters, too. You can put, like, little flowers in them. And they're just Cute. gorgeous. And mm-hmm. uh, a great Really good. Gift. Yeah, great really gift. good gift. Because yeah. uh, gifts are... Some people are really easy to shop for some are really difficult but I think a good rule of thumb is for a gift of course you know you want to get people things that they need but like the things that people would want but would never spend money on for themselves exactly and that's kind of a good way it's hard I mean because there's nothing obviously wrong with getting someone something that they do need I mean that's a good thing too but it's like you know, if you know somebody really likes incense, they ha- they might have an incense burner, but do they have a really nice one or like a top of the line mm-hmm. or like a personalized leather, whatever they might already have, but a nicer version of it? Like, like I think that's a good kind of gift. It feels special to you. And it's not like they're going to order it for themselves. Exactly. And, I, and even with the stores that we chose and what products that we love the most, it's like these are going to be like no brainers. Mm-hmm. you know, for that friend, you're like, oh, maybe it's like your aunt's new boyfriend or something like, that. Right. You're like or, 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 or something like that. Your brother's new girlfriend. You're like, Oh fuck, what do I get her? Yeah. Um, these products are like perfect. foolproof. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. you will impress. Yeah. I love that. Um, the first one that I immediately thought of was our place. Um, and mm. they've been blowing up all over Instagram. So I know they're a lot of people might have seen them on there, but I bought their pan. So Our Place and their website is from ourplace.com. It's a Los Angeles-based, woman of color-owned brand. Um, and their mission statement says, At Our Place, we believe in connections made across the kitchen table. They prioritize real stories that explore and bridge cultures, ethical labor, and responsible materials. Um, it's like a kitchen, materials, dining, like homewares kind of, shop but it is beautiful they have a collection that either just came out or is coming out soon that is from artisans in oaxaca mexico and a couple other places where they just they bring like traditional and classic pieces that are up that are updated in a new modern way because it's like modern day artisans making them but that their goal is to like bring bring deep tradition into the modern age and into the future and from different cultures around the world and they have their one pot that or pan that is like the most popular that's going everywhere. It's called the always pan and I have it and I'm obsessed with it. And it is meant to replace eight different pans that exist in oh, someone's wow. kitchen. And it has like a little, um, so it's beautiful. It comes in like five or six really beautiful colors. I have it in like a stone kind of cream or stone color mm. and they have it in a terra, a, like a, almost like a terracotta, but a little more on the dusty rose side. They have it in olive green. They have it in a charcoal, a lot of really pretty colors. And they, um, amazing. So, and it's kind of, it's shaped like a saucepan, but it's deep enough that you can cook entire bags of pasta in it. You can, uh, it has a steamer basket in it and it has a little, um, wooden spatula that locks in that you can lock onto the handle of the pan mm-hmm. so it won't move. And then you can, it's amazing. And it makes, you literally can cook everything in it. I've, I don't use other pans anymore and it's amazing. Um, oh, wow. And they have just beautiful like glassware. They have, like I said, they bring in a lot of different cultures around the oh, world. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's incredible. <gasps> oh my God. It's, it's so worth it. And uh, this, the founder is, um, she's like our age. She's like 30 or something, 30 or 31. Don't tell and me that. Last year, I know. <laughs> <laughs> last year um they were kind of newish and i think i got mine last year on their christmas sale but like keep an eye out because that pan i guarantee you on sale or not it's worth your money um i'm oh obsessed with it Ryan and i'm excited obsessed. for their brand to grow yeah support them please 
this makes me just like want to um start over like i just want a new place to decorate like i just mm-hmm. want to i want a bigger place i have more things i want to same do. <laughs> my interior design oh, same don't you feel like you're kind of outgrowing or just getting older <laughs> just getting uh no i just want more space i want more space so i can do more all my design yeah. ideas in like different areas yes mm-hmm. Ugh, anywho um Another business that I absolutely love, and actually, if you um, love watching specifically, and you saw this one episode, actually, or you are, uh, you know, our Instagram, you might have seen it there. But it's from this, um, it's, <laughs> it's from this store called Mess in a Bottle, and I'm wearing mm-hmm. a sweatshirt from there now. Um, yes. It's really amazing. My sweatshirt says, "As strong as the woman next to me." It's so cute. I love that and, one. And um, I love it. It's so comfortable and really inexpensive. And and um, basically, it's a t-shirt company founded by Kalila Wright with messages that give a voice to the voiceless. Black-owned, women-owned, and message-driven is their mission mm. statement. So um, they have I a lot that. of cool stuff, a lot of good uh, masks. Um, mm. They have really fun apparel for babies and like anybody like it's just Cute. really really good and, they have and really really like good unique messages. messages yeah i remember when you first showed up in my apartment you were wearing that and i was like i want that where'd you get it because it's really different yeah so yeah i like many that. colors dresses mm. yeah really great store um my next pick is gold g-o-l-d-e i don't know if you've heard of Mm-mm. she the, the founder she's uh blew up in recent years but um so G-O-L-D-E dot co is the, her website. But so it's a black woman owned business um, born out of a one bedroom apartment in Brooklyn, New York in 2017. Um, their wellness and beauty products highlight and embrace superfood essentials. And their mission is to make wellness easy and accessible for all. And they have everything from oh. like morning smoothies to skincare. All formulas are 100 percent natural and vegan friendly. My pick from this one Ooh. is the Clean Greens face mask. It's thirty four dollars. It's been all over beauty blogs and beauty podcasts and like skincare. Oh yeah, this it's logo everywhere. rings a bell. Yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, you have to have seen it. And the Clean Greens face mask. It's one of its best sellers. Definitely my pick. It's like, I mean, all the stuff that they you, especially you know, pregnant women too who are eliminating like certain chemicals from their skincare routine or whatever. This is all. Like I said, superfood essentials, 100% natural and vegan friendly, and you can literally eat all their products, including their skincare products if you wanted. But the ingredients are so simple and so clean, and this shit works. Like the face mask, that clean greens face mask, it's mm-hmm. really dark green. It looks like you're spreading like mush, like a pureed spinach on your face, but it's, and you just leave it Lovely. on, and it is so, oh, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. So for, I mean, and everybody's, dive into skincare and home masks because of quarantine in 2020 and this is definitely there's a good one to get for yourself it's a really good one to get as a gift as well and just check out the site because they have if wellness in general it's not all skincare it's like you know supplements and powders superfood powders and morning smoothie stuff and it's fun yeah it's not super expensive it's it's like a average price point because she mm-hmm. wants it to be accessible and she also is in her 30s i believe uh Stop. black woman in brooklyn yeah so wow yeah i i and her name is trinity i'm not sure how to say her last name i forgot i didn't write it down but it's like starts with an m but she's been written up all over in the last couple of years since it started as like a entrepreneur and female owned she's doing the damn thing nice yeah, yeah that i mean everything there i really want their smooth and the mask mm-hmm. i've been like I'm always on the hunt for a good mask. Always. Mm -hmm. Um, So another little favorite store of mine is called the Post 21 Shop. Um, Post 21. So the website is post21shop.com. And it was created by a mother-daughter duo who for years wanted a comprehensive marketplace that focused on modern and design-forward products from uh, Black-owned businesses. Mm. And uh, like Jungalo, it is just a beautiful store with amazing homeware goods. Um, Ooh, they have other stuff favorite. too. They have dolls. Um, they have, uh, oh my God, one of my favorite things is this one pillow. It's like a like fringy type pillow. Mm. And this, um, 
I don't even know how to describe this mirror. I feel like it has like kind of like straw coming out of it and it looks like the sun. Oh, I've and seen And it's those. just yeah. a, is, it, is it made of metal? No. Oh, it's I like don't. actual like straw. Cool. You'd have to oh. see it. Um, I can geek out all day over those like it's homeware like, it's like, sites. It's like tassels coming out of it. It's very oh, weird. Um, but they everything there is like oh, yeah, perfect little gifts too. Um, mm -hmm. like they have these beautiful little doll ornaments Ooh, really and these little pretty. palm tassel ornaments too. Um, really good gift ideas here. They have a, on their website, they curate little gift boxes for you too. So it could take, takes all the, the oh. basic, you know, the guessing work of, of what to get somebody and, and you can curate something yeah. really easily there. Um, yeah. Post 21. That. Can't recommend that place enough. That's really cute. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, my third pick is an Etsy shop. It's Kingsley Leather on Etsy. And it is black owned. It's a guy um, and he does. So it's handcrafted leather wallets, belts and accessories. Um, black owned business with incredible craftsmanship. Um, specialty gifts like personalized cufflinks, leather sunglasses and pen cases, embossed leather bookmarks and more. My pick from the site is well the embossed the leather bookmarks are gorgeous but what i really love with the with the um uh personalized cufflinks so they're like Ooh. obviously metal around but the in but the center is leather with like embossed initials or whatever you personalize it with and they mm -hmm. in different color black or brown leather whatever and they are really unique looking super classy looking and a really good gift for like Kind of what I was saying earlier, kind of a specialty gift for maybe that person that has it all or someone that you want to get something that's like mm -hmm. really, really unique that like who's going to buy themselves leather embossed personalized cufflinks. But yeah, someone or maybe. Then, oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I was like, maybe you're a bride that had to postpone their wedding and wanted to get yes. or, or a groom that wanted to get groomsmen or bridesmen cufflinks. Yeah. I remember I loved getting cufflinks for my my bridesmen. And I feel like mm -hmm. those, that's it's a cute. great gift idea for if you have an event coming up that you want to show yeah. some love for those people. And even the like mm -hmm. um, for people who are and everybody now is like working from home, obviously. But I thought it was interesting because he has obviously sun sunglasses, cases and leather, but also pen holders, pen cases and leather, which is like just like a luxurious kind of home office type of thing for people who just are bougie like myself. So I uh, think, ditto. uh, yeah. It's I good, mean, why not? Find. I mean, if you're working from home and we're going to be for a little bit, well, <laughs> who's we? <laughs> <laughs> you, who's for those we? who are uh, working from home, <laughs> um, uh, you want to have, uh, 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 I keep using the word curated, but a nice curated space around yeah. you to make it feel more homey and, and to mm -hmm. get the vibes right. So, so your productivity levels are higher. It's yeah. just science guys. Come on. It did, it may, it makes everything. I don't know. Look, listen, I'm a big, I'm just a fan of having everything around me look beautiful everywhere. I look, if I turn to the right, I want to see something pretty. If I turn to the left, I want to see something pretty. And so yeah. if I look at my Make pen, I want these to air look signs. <laughs> what yeah take it from these take it from an aquarius and a libra yes you want to surround yourself with pretty things exactly because life's like, too short yeah to not have nice things i love nice thank things you. <laughs> thank you amen um amen. the last place we're going to um throw your way and promote is um and these could be really good gifts too i mean this could be more of a treat yourself long term especially you know, this is more for people that live in Southern California. Um, but it's this really awesome business called Logan's Gardens. He doesn't have a website. So you're going to have to go on Instagram and follow him at Logan's Gardens. And he and his family built their business on expanding people's notions of what a backyard garden can be. Selling plants at farmers markets and planting and maintaining edible gardens for homeowners and restaurants. For years, they ran the business okay. out of their house near Hollywood, planting every available spot of their yard with tomatoes, peppers, and papayas, as well as an heirloom, as well as heirloom varieties of produce yet unseen in the LA area. Their nursery is believed to be the only African American owned nursery in Southern California. So, um, yeah, if you go on his Instagram, you can see all the different, um, all the different like varieties of, 
of of plants and vegetables that he grows. Um, That's so and you can cool. pick yourself up one, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. Honestly, yeah, it, yeah. If twenty twenty taught us nothing, it, it's it taught us anything. It's just to be self sustainable. Oh my god, you don't have to rely on anyone to take care of you because they're not gonna do it. Imagine like. You meet someone like literally, okay, focus on the person you want to be in 2021. And if just imagine yourself, you're on Tinder, you're single. <laughs> and Whoa, that took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hear me out. Just close your eyes. Okay. You're on Tinder and someone hits you up first and they're like, yo, what's yeah. up? What's cool? Like what's, 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 what's a really cool thing about you? And you hit him with the, you know, just came back from, um, you know, my backyard or my, my garden in my kitchen, you know, I am growing some papayas. <laughs> you are getting dick or pussy oh that. <laughs> oh my God. If no, you grow papayas, think... there's no, there's no turning back. But I think that goes one way because I don't think that a man would definitely <laughs> be like, she, oh my God, I'm giving it to her so hard tonight. She grows papayas. Okay, fine. This is for the girls, the gays, and the theys, okay? <laughs> grow, grow your papayas. Check out Logan's Gardens. He'll hook it up for you. Um, he's available every Wednesday and Saturday oh at Santa Monica's Farmer's Markets and Sundays at the Hollywood Farmer's Market. Logan's Garden. Cute. I love that. I love that. Um, we could have gotten slightly more creative with our charity, but we're just going to hammer it into <laughs> all of you who still have yet to absorb it. We're going to promote Black Lives Matter. Have you heard of it? Have you heard what? of it? What? Have you forgotten I've about heard it? of Blue Lives Matter. Uh, okay. Well, get out of my house right now. Here. Okay. <laughs> but I so... grew papayas. <laughs> <laughs> get on Tinder and leave me alone. What's Next? wrong with my mind? God damn. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> And, well, I've known that, but that's part of the reason I chose you as my business partner. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, Black Lives Matter, founded in 2013. As contrary to what people think, it, it just started in 2020. Turns out it's been here since 2013. Whoa. In response, in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's murderer, Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation Incorporated is a global organization in the U.S., the U.K., and Canada whose mission is to eradicate white supremacy and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilantes. BLM is combating and countering acts of violence, creating space for black imagination and innovation and centering black joy. So to donate and learn more, go to blacklivesmatter.com. Yes, yes, yes. And you know where to find us on YouTube. Because you're going to see Ew. some of these things that we're, we're talking about today. And it'll help you further your holiday shopping and check things off your list. So please yes. head on over to YouTube, SOS with Molly and Alyssa. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the SOS pod. Subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, anywhere you find your podcast. We're there. Subscribe. Leave a review. It really helps us. Please um, leave a review. Yes, it really, really helps us. And we love growing our, our, our little baby here, our little podcast. So leaving also, a review, rating five stars helps us. Yeah. Yeah. And I really want people to let us know if you actually do some of your holiday shopping at these places. I yeah. just want to like, I, we really, it'd be exciting to us to hear if any of you guys check it out and actually end up getting gifts from here. And, you know, one less dollar in Bezos's pocket and one more dollar in a minority owned company is one step closer to communism. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, <laughs> with... <laughs> we're pro communist. Um, yes. Pro whatever the fuck. I don't know. We don't whatever know, whatever don't the know. kids are saying, whatever the AOCs, <laughs> whatever them Jim are saying. Gen Z's are saying these days. We don't know. So anyway, kids. <laughs> here's I'm to Molly turning. Cattrall. Oh, sh oh, I thought. <laughs> Guys, we keep fucking up this ending, and we're know, almost a, we're a, almost a year in. We're basically wow. a year in. Okay. Okay. You go. I'm Molly Cottrell. I'm Alyssa Rosano, and here's to turning meltdowns into magic. <laughs>